Hi everyone, it's Anthony from Gaming Cards and More, and welcome back to another video today. Today we are doing another mail video. Um, but before we get to the mail, we will start with uh, the featured cards there. And as you can see, I've got some Manon Rayom cards out. Um, we've got what's considered to be the Manon Rayom rookie, an assets uh, in person autograph a rookie in-person autograph and the, probably my favorite card in my whole collection you can't might not be able to see it but the classic promo a classic first standing variation numbered out of 1992 a little faded but i've had that card for like when i sold my cards that's the only card i kept so had that forever and you'll notice this piece of artwork it's a piece of leather work that my i talk about my cousin all the time bringing stuff and his old hockey card collection and giving me the camaros and such but he made this for me when he was in like grade six or seven and that was years ago so long long time ago and i just wanted to show that so that is john van beesbrook so that's leather under there hand painted instead of stained and so, yeah, he gave that to me because I loved Beezer back in the day. And I just thought it was something cool. Like I said, I show as much stuff in my collection as I can. Um, speaking of him, uh, he stopped by again and dropped off a couple cards. So, as you know, I've said I love 9091. And since I'm just getting back in, I've got these uh, 9091 Upper Deck rookie cards of Trevor Kidd, former Flames, played for other teams as well, and Potvin. Uh, Love both these guys, both uh, with the World Junior team there, high series cards. So yeah, they're not really worth a whole lot, but just some great rookies, really just overproduced, and that killed the value. But I mean, not always, not everything about collecting has got to be about value, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, next up, we have got. Uh, I opened another one of those hanger packs. I found one more, but I opened it off camera. So I'll just show you the stuff I got in that. And in the packs, this was the only young gun that I got. So a Jarrett Anderson Dolan. Uh, the jersey was this Luke Robitaille Decades 80s Rookie. So uh, game used, silver version. Of this Luke Robitaille jersey. Great player. And my autograph. Was this. Uh, Terry O'Reilly Enforcers from Parkhurst. Um, on card. Very nice autograph. Um, it was the only hanger pack I could find. And so I just got excited and opened it. Not everything I. Open is on camera, but yeah, I did find one of those. So now on to the mail day. Um, some is eBay purchases and some is trades. So we will start um, with a trade from a, a gentleman on Instagram. I don't know if he watches these videos or not, but his name is Grunt with two T's 2003. And I traded him the uh, Besser jersey that I pulled out of Trilo Trilogy. Trilogy. For uh, these cards here. He got a hold of me on Instagram. And we made the deal. So. First up. We got a John Gillies Young Gun. For the Flames PC. And the Rookies Collection. I, this is my second one. But. Why not? Nothing wrong with having two. And this Yuso Valimaki Rookie. Uh, jersey. Out of SPX. So. Again. Something for the Flames PC. I really like that. Today is going to be a great PC day for the mail because, well, usually when you may buy something or trade for something, it's for your collection. So, next we have uh, somebody who does watch and follows me on Instagram. We did a trade, um, Fiala Freak Cards. So, thanks for the good deal. Keep up the good videos and wild pulls. So, he's a Minnesota Wild fan, and I traded him the... Nico Sturm Trilogy numbered out of 999 rookie card that I pulled in the box that you guys saw. So he sent a few extras as well. I sent him a few extras, I believe, as well. I try to send extras most of the time. Sometimes I forget, but 
TJ Brody, upper deck, Flames, Kiprasov. Now that's score, but you know what? I don't have that, so that's awesome. That's going straight into the collection. I do have this one, but thank you so much. That's awesome too. Hamannick portraits, I do not have. So yeah, that's really cool. Hamannick portraits. And here's what the trade was for for that... Uh, uh, for the Sturm out of 9.99 was just a Alexander Texier young guns. I didn't have one, and I just told him, you know, pick a young gun, and that's one that I didn't have. So he sent me that one. So that's awesome. I appreciate that very much. Um, Sam Bennett. I'm pretty sure I have that, but that is really cool nonetheless. A lot of chatter that he might get traded. That you know he hasn't lived up to his potential. I mean, he, I think he brings intangibles to the team that. Uh, you need like some grit, some, and I think the skill will come. And if he gets a fresh start somewhere, they're going to get a banger of a player, I think. And Jordan Eberly, awesome. Love Eberly. So, really great. I know I don't have this because I haven't opened a lot of score because I hadn't been collecting. So, yeah, that's cool. Thank you so much, uh, Fiala Freak Cards. Um, Instagram, if you want to make a trade. I know he comments on the videos a lot. You could probably start a conversation there if you would like. So next up on to some purchases. This one came out of Quebec. And it's just for the collection. Because, well, if you're collecting hockey cards, you should probably have one of these. And it is just shipped really weird. I open all my stuff because I want to leave feedback and everything. But... Um, a weird, weird way to ship it. Weird container, but it is a score Martin Broder rookie card. Like, you can still see the fuzz on the top. It is pretty decent. But, yeah, I mean, again, with the comment that, you know, cards were overproduced in the 90s, so some of these great rookies are not worth anything, right? So... A Broder rookie card. Felt I should have that. Shout out to Molot Hobbies, who's got like 7,000 of them. You know, that's amazing. <laughs> when I saw his video, I was like, yeah, I need one of those for my collection. They're not expensive, so I went and bought one. Anyways, up to the next purchase. And this one's a PC purchase. And this one's really strange. These, This is eight cards that were promos out of Crown International. And it'll tie into the featured cards, obviously. So, Crown International promo, Menon Rayom, silver. Now, apparently, I tried to do a little research on this, and they made like four variants. There's a red, I believe, and a green, a gold, and a silver. So, I mean, if you look it up, the back's very plain. This is six of eight. The gold version says six of eight as well. So, it's just really kind of a weird. But it's a cool card for the PC. I've had a really hard time getting a hold of Manon Rayom cards because, well, not a lot of people have them. And when you find them on eBay, you know, it's usually pretty expensive with shipping and stuff for some cards that really shouldn't be that value. But these I'd never seen before. So I picked these up, believe it or not, for $6.50 with shipping. Um, and I just thought they were really unique. So... And in the Tampa Bay practice jersey, that's really cool too. And here's one from, I believe, the actual preseason game. So, I mean, I mean the photo quality is not great. But just a really neat product. I'd, I'd never seen it before, and I just I had to have it. The price was super cheap. Um, so, yeah, I picked those up. And then I got the same... Same pictures, but in the gold variant. Same back. So, yeah. It's, it's just a neat little PC pickup. And then if you'd... Uh, seen a bit of my Instagram I recently talked about a package that I'd bought and like it, it hit customs and there hadn't been an update in nine days and been in contact with the seller on eBay and talked to Canada Post and stuff and well turns out the package 
never got scanned after it hit customs so they didn't know it was in transit but it was in transit and it actually showed up this morning so i was super excited about that because this one here and like i said the cards can cost a fair amount when you are uh when you are uh shipping a, a fair number of cards so and i wanted to get it like this is the best deal i could literally find on some manon rayom cards for my pc so he threw in some extras when he found out that i collect manon rayom and this is the extras that he threw in so you got the first lady of hockey insert set or not insert set but it was put in there some of it's a little bent because this is exactly how it came. But, I mean, I'm I'm not worried about that. I can get more of these for a fair price, too. So, just a really cool throw-in. That's really neat. I had all these in my previous Manon Rayom collection when I used to collect cards. So, these I'm very familiar with. Whereas those Crown Internationals, these promos... I'd never seen before. So on to the main event. Now this was 30 something dollars and like 28 or so to ship. So I mean, but yeah. So this is what I got for like 60 some bucks. Um, down there and we will start up here and there was a lot of cards of her these are all man on realm <laughs> a lot of cards of hers here that i'd never seen before so for example this i'd just never seen it when i was younger um this package came out of nevada so another promo not a lot of information on there but just a really really cool card for the collection so I know this might be a little bit of a longer video, so I'll try and go a little quicker. I don't know if you guys are interested in this stuff. Let me know in the comments if you like seeing these kinds of mail videos and pickups and trades. I try and give out shout outs to the people that I've traded with. So um, cool pickups. It's just never seen that set or those promos before. And same with this one. I'd never seen this one before. So when I saw this on eBay, I, there was like three other people watching it at the time. And yeah, I just, I finally just bought it because yeah, I had to have it for the collection. Um, Ball Street News. And then it's got some fine print there. See, art, see article this issue for photo credit. Like, I mean, just really neat, neat stuff. So got another one and I think they're the exact same there's no numbering on them but just cool and this one I had never seen before as well pocket pages promo free sample got number 45 there copyright 93 pocket Pocket Pages Card Show Digest. So, I mean, free sample. Nice little write-up. Really cool. This one I had seen. I never owned this one. So, this is 4 Sport Exclusive Collection 93. And it looks like... I, I, I opened the package. I glanced at what it was. I closed the package. Brought it over here and decided that I'm going to make this video so excuse me while I get this out because that's covered and I couldn't see it but look at that it's got a little McDonald's logo on it I'd never seen the, I mean I'd seen the original version of this I believe I know wow I don't remember that ever being there maybe I'm misremembering it is a long time ago <laughs> so yeah that's really cool and then we've got this other four sport from 93 base card that one i'd seen and owned uh this one obviously i'd seen and owned i've got one right over there so awesome another one i hadn't seen from pocket pages so another promo same sort of thing free sample number 53 
First Lady of Hockey, another little right up. I really like the look of this one. I can't even see what that says up there. I've never seen this, so I'm going to take it away and see if I can read it. But I have a hard time seeing what that says. But, yeah. Really cool looking card. Classic. Number 111. Classic images is maybe what it says up there. To look like that logo. Really cool. Another classic for sport. Super Bowl card show. Check that out. I'd never seen this uh, promo. I've seen the original, but not the promo. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And speaking of that same one. There is the base from that year. And another one, but look, they kind of have different, I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up on the camera, but different colored borders. Same card number, same photos, but the borders are slightly different colored. <coughs> oh, I am sorry, something is in my throat and it is driving me crazy. And there's another. So, I don't know if they're variants, because they all have different colored borders. And that, I did not know. We'll see, that one's a BC-11. 224. And this one's 224. So, I knew there was a base. I didn't know about these variants, so even now, that's new to me. Really cool. You get surprised sometimes. Sorry if this, you know, feel free to... If this isn't your thing, I understand. Knoxville Cherokees. Pretty cool looking card there. Another classic. Atlanta Knights. Limited edition of 20,000. 26,000. So only 26,000 of those. Back then, that's limited. I mean, take my word for it. <laughs> And a classic exclusive promo, not like uh, this middle one that I showed, which is the actual base. And next up, I'd never seen this, Collector's Quarterly. I mean, the picture is just weird that they used. It looks really odd, almost kind of like a painting. But look at that. That is really, really neat. I had never seen that before. So when I was collecting her initially, you have to think I was like 12, 13. And I just thought, thought it was so cool that there was a female who played in an NHL preseason game. I was just like, that's awesome. Pocket pages. I had never heard of any of them. So, I mean, here's another one. I didn't even know these existed. Number 41. It talks about how much it costs to subscribe to their uh, magazine. Hilarious, but very cool. This one I did have when I was collecting, so yep. This one I remember very fondly. I liked the uh, cool bl shiny blue and uh, hockey art and uh, the, the painting there, so I really liked that. That I'm going to set aside for a second. Showtime. I, again, Showtime. You can faintly see it there. Nothing else on there. Never heard of it. Never seen it before. Really unique for the collection. This I really like. Again, I never seen this before. So it is one of those limited one of 15,000. So that's very limited back in the 90s. Arena Sports. Very basic background. So cool though. This one I also used to own, Men Own Realm with the foily blue. Season to Remember, classic base card. Really cool, nice looking card. I also had this one too in the old collection. So all these more common base cards I had. Um, being a kid, I didn't, and in, in a smaller city at the time, I didn't have access to card shows and stuff. So all these promos are just really cool, neat things for me. Um, classic four sports. 
Classic Four Sports base card. Neat card. Had that. Here's another one of the limiteds of 26,000. And another one of these out of 15,000. So just, I really like that with the facsimile autograph, the gold border. And you know, I don't think it needs to be said. I'm not collecting her because she was beautiful or anything. I'm collecting her and did collect her because of what she accomplished. Like that was, I that blew me away when I was a kid. I, I didn't think stuff like that would have been possible. So that was really awesome. And it just blew me away. And I just got into collecting her. I also collected Theron Fleury and Matt Sandine, if that counts for anything. Loved Matt Sandine back in the day. But anyways, on to this one. Never seen this guy be or this card before. Um, again, very bland style back. Ball Street News. Hot Stars, Menon Rayom. Promotional cards, not for sale. Look at that. August, September 1993, issues of Top Stars, featuring top nine top stars. Chris Weber, Shaquille O'Neal, Alonzo Mourning, Michael Jordan, Frank Thomas, Nolan Ryan, Frank Thomas, Shaquille O'Neal, and Manon Rayom. And I got number nine, the Manon Rayom. Just another one I'd never seen before. Just crazy lot for the like $64 or whatever this was. Um... Very nice card here. I like the black and white look to it with the gold. Awesome. There's another one. I believe it's just a double. I don't think there's anything different about those two. I could be wrong. This one I'd never seen before. Didn't know it existed. So this I did know existed. I used to have this back in the day. Really cool. Realm family checklist the river rats and here's i think another promo this one i never knew existed but very cool yeah ball street news promotional purses one of 18 free photos inside of every issue ball street sports card memorabilia magazine and price guide for a sample copy send 6.95 to and an address so I don't know if that address still exists. Don't send them your money. <laughs> uh, another classic. This one I had up close and personal with the little blue shiny uh, Manon Rayom there. It was part of a base set. Very nice. Brings back memories. This I'd never seen before. Blue line. So really, really cool promotional uses only. Number two. Blue line magazine. And another one of these, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. Really liked that as well. And another blue line. Again, never seen blue line. Number one, very cool. Another card that I'd never seen, you know, so from the Ball Street News, all these promos and stuff. Even got the phone number there, don't call it. You know, I don't know what it is now. And now down to the last few cards. So... These were there. He said he was missing one of the certificate of authenticities. So I believe when she signed initially back for the promos, they came with a, a separate certificate of authenticity instead of saying on the back, congratulations. So this is one of the promo autographs done in the gold pen. This one did have its certificate of authenticity. Now, people don't like it because they say these certificates can be reprinted pretty easily. Um, and, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna trust them. I'm a pretty trusting person until you give me a reason not to trust you. You know, I mean, even if I get burnt, I guess I get burnt. But it is a cool little... I mean... Could, could be getting burnt. Who cares? I mean, I guess. Like, I mean, not a big deal. But I thought it was cool. I'd never seen these before. That's what I was told about them and what I'd looked up. So it kind of corroborates itself. But two more autos. And, I mean, you know it's hers. 
you can follow her on Instagram. You can see that it is all very done the same. So I'd sent her a couple of the pictures and she did acknowledge them, thought they were cool and told me, yes, that was her autograph for sure. So on the this one and the other one. She said she signs lots of them. So yeah, definitely. And besides, who's going to forge men on rail autographs? It's not like you're, you know, Gretzky Crosby or McDavid or something that's going to be worth a fortune. But very cool. So awesome to have, happy to have those. And then this one, another one I'd never seen, Showtime. He's got it down in this screw down case. Real men wear blades, I believe is what that's, or black. Yeah, black, I think. So, and that's a promo out of Showtime. Very basic background. Very cool card. But guys, that is it for the pickups. I can scroll through them again real quick for somebody who wants to see them. If you guys are still here to the very bitter end, longest video I've done. But here's the trades through the mail. Uh, Fiala card freak, uh, Fiala freak cards and Grunt 2003. Thanks so much for the trades. Hanger pickup from Walmart. Um, eBay purchase broder rookie from my cousin here in town. Grab those. Uh, this cool Crown International promo silver and gold eBay purchase. The extra throw ins. Very cool. The Showtime promo. The two autos. And then all these really cool promos and classic cards that are just for the PC. Like, this could take up my whole cabinet now just with these cards if I wanted to display them. It's pretty insane. So I had a very small collection initially, and now I have a very decent sized collection. And that just, I love it. So I will always take doubles too. So I mean, I mean, I, I always, people always talk about their PCs. I will trade my Flames PCs for Man Owner Ohms or other cards I really enjoy. It's not like I'm personally attached to it amazingly. I will keep trading for Flames stuff because I like the Flames. But yeah. So, sorry for the length of the video. Those are some crazy pickups. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, I wanted to mention the Pokemon contest. I know you probably don't want to hear about it. I only have two entries. If you'd like to go enter, I want to run the draw at five. If I can't seem to get five entries in that uh, crocheted handmade Pokemon hat on that video, um, then I'll probably just do the drawing out of the two people that are there and you guys each have a great chance of winning. I mean, my wife made it. It's brand new. It's not been on anybody's head. It's a really nice hat. If you guys want to win a Pokemon hat, check that out. Thanks so much for staying. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you like the art that my cousin made. Uh, if you like the autographed cards that were already in the collection. If you like the pickup, let me know in the comments. You guys have yourself a wonderful day.